Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we are back here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in London City. And, uh, okay, it's, I see it's going to be one of those videos again. Yeah. Yeah, welcome, everybody, on board this interesting plane, the Microjet. Today, we are here in the Flight Simulator, indeed, to check out some interesting new freeware add-ons you can download for the Flight Simulator. And we are actually going to talk about a very essential new add-on that you have to download all right but first of all let's start off with weird stuff we have a pilot drawn into the cockpit and oh my god look at the eyes all right should we move on or can we can we please but not really this is the bd5j a another new add-on here for the flight simulator and let's just see how it flies it's like i think one of the smallest jets that there are as you can see really this is a jet after all and it's not very big and that's pretty much all that is to this Plane. Uh, let's take a look into the cockpit. The instruments actually do work. Everything works here. This is quite a realistic plane. This works quite nicely. Let's go ahead and see if we can fly, which we can, unfortunately. I mean, okay, you know what? This actually quite flies nicely. Let's put the landing gear up. Oh, you know what? I don't even hate this plane that much. It's the pilot drawn in the... Okay, I hate the... I hate the plane. Never mind. Jesus Christ. What was that? I have a crash. But you know what? This plane is actually quite Swiss as one proof. This may be coming here for landing as well here in this micro jet. I think this is one of those planes that would kind of even deserve like a dedicated video. Yep. The smallest jet that humans have ever made. And look at those nice animations right here. We can see the engine cowling or whatever that is coming up and down. That's just nice to see. You know what? This is pretty not that bad of an add-on. So let me see if we can come in for a nice butter landing. That would very nicely top off this absolutely beautiful flight. There's always demand for a butter landing. Come on. You know what? I'm quite happy with what we've got here. The micro jet, everybody. Oh my god. An interesting, crazy add-on. But I think, you know what? I'm gonna try to move on now to a, another plane that is probably even gonna be weirder. I mean, before we actually have a visual look at the next airplane, let's check out the name. Rutan and... Oh, no. Yeah, you know, we've had a Rutan history here on this channel. And what can I say? It's a, he's a weird plane designer. Let's check this out. All right, so this is our plane from the cockpit. It looks quite normal. When we go into the outside, it looks a little bit... Um, why? Why? Well, I mean, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the good old 5 Engine 747. This actually is a real picture, by the way. This is not Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a feature that the 747 has. It can transport one extra engine, which can be very useful. For example, like, you know, on a random island in the Atlantic, one 747 engine completely fails, and that one has to do an emergency landing. And then one other 747 can help out by transporting a um, replacement engine right to that airplane you know what i mean that makes sense it's quite cool of an idea and uh this uh doesn't have that much use to it. i don't really get the why i mean i, I get the point it's, it's an interesting of a design right we basically have like two fuselages here right and both have a propeller engine but only in the right fuselage you can actually sit and this is what the cockpit looks like. That is quite an annoying of a design. Like, I cannot even see what's in front of me. Also, why are there, like, two screens right next to each other? This makes no sense. Great, but you don't know what. This plane at least flies. You know, that's all right. Let me check out the cabin. Is there, like, a cabin here? Okay, there is a cabin. Oh, we are... Oh, we have desperately crashed. Yeah, this is one of those typical Rutan planes. I mean, we've seen tons of them. And they're all this weird. They make... I mean, they make some sense, but what is very much amazing me is how the wing is shaped. Look at that. It's shaped forward, something we've not really ever seen before. But apparently, this plane flies. And let me just say, all the planes we featured here so far here in this video, in this add-on videos, do exist in real life and fly in real life and stuff like that. And look at that beautiful looping. Anyway, maybe it's time to check out how this plane lands here. Or something. Yeah, everybody, it is time for the illustrious landing test. Oh, you know, let's do it here at Courchevel. Now, this plane also has a very interesting landing gear design that actually deserves a bit of a closer look. Look at that. I mean, it has three wheels and everything, but I'm pretty sure on, like, a pretty tough landing, maybe with some winds, the plane's gonna, like, tip over to the left, hitting the 
left engine, which would be very bad, I think, because then that would impact the cabin of the pilot. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That is actually probably going to happen. Seriously. That is a very bad design idea. Yeah, you know, this plane does not only look stupid, it is absolutely stupid and dangerous. Holy moly. All right, anyway, let's come in for a bit of a landing here anyway. Come on. All we need to do is do it nicely, right? Because, you know, oh my god. God, that's not been nice at all. So this is what I'm talking about. This kind of landing would be absolute failure and death now. Jesus. The sad part is that it wasn't even that bad of a landing, was it? It was just like a, like, a, you know, landings like this happen all the time, maybe. Look at that. How did we completely flip over like that? Jesus Christ. All right, well, let's come in for a bit of a nice landing here. Take a little bit of airspeed. I mean, what we do have to say, though, is that this plane is very well modeled, at least. Like, this add-on is very well done. Right, and oh my, it's happened again. It's it's the plane's fault. Rest in peace. Now, but the add-on itself, I can pretty much recommend. This is actually very nice. I mean, look at the screenshots right here. That's absolutely sick. So if you're into, like, ugly and weird planes, then this is probably for you. But let's maybe move on to another plane, a very special special plane, and that is the A330. The thing is here with this flight simulator, we've had A330s before, but those were never really very good. But here we have a brand new refresh that you guys just really wanted me to review, and that is the natively developed A330 900 Neo. Oh yeah. Now, we are here right now in the cockpit, and what I can already tell is that this is not an A330 cockpit, this is of course an A320 cockpit. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan. See, the thing is, yes, it's true. The A330 and the A320 cockpits are very similar. And we are about to crash into a mount. Now, these two planes are very, very similar, so it doesn't really bother me. There's just this um, weird, like, hole here in the A330. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a little weird to explain. Very minor differences, and the plane flies nicely with an A320 cockpit anyway. But you know what? All of that is excused for when we check out the outside of this airplane. And this is really now a very, very sleek design. A lot better than the old A330, right? Now, first of all, we've got a beautiful landing gear here. Now, what is also very apparent here? Here, especially here with this Neo, is the black mask we have here. This is just an absolutely amazing of a flying machine. This is a really, really nice plane. It's gonna be nicely landed here at Courchevel. That's probably not gonna work out very well, is it? The thing is, this plane actually flies a whole lot better than the A3. Like, it, it feels a lot, lot better. Like, the old A330 was just a mess to fly. This one flies and feels extremely nicely. I like this. Feels exactly like an Airbus here with a fly-by-wire. Okay, let's come in for it. This is extremely stupid. Alright, anyway. Alright, that's been a landing. Jesus Christ, poor landing gear. It's time to stop. There we go. Which, um, uh, <clears throat> we have now. What? Have we just landed an A3? Did I just do... What just ha... What? What did I just do here in this video? Holy moly! Okay, that's been a very hard landing, but we stopped a literal A330. But you know, it's just very nice to greet a new plane here in the butter skies. Oh my god, come on. Let's have a bit of a landing from the outside view. Oh yeah. See, this landing animation is quite nice here. I really like how this plane flies. You know, all those planes have actually been pretty recommendable today. No, like, bad quality ones. I'm quite disappointed. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Tay, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Garman Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X-Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.